Well, I'll try this way. Hi guys, uh, I got such a big response when I posted the picture of the garden that I thought I'd once again give the full tour. I know I've done this before, but uh, it changes so rapidly that uh, I thought you guys might enjoy to see everything that's here. It's actually pretty spectacular. We have uh, three kinds of bananas. We have these really massive ones here. And you can see there's a there's a bunch growing over there. And there's three different varieties. Here's the middle height varieties. These ones start blooming lower than the others. And there's a bunch there. And then we have the smaller ones that I'll get to over here in a minute. There's the bike and the car and the generator shed. This is uh, eggplant here and pineapple. Pineapples apparently take a whole long time to uh, mature. I'm not sure exactly when we're going to get some fruit from those. Now this is a malungai tree and the malungai is edible leaves that are really good in soups and stews and things like that. And if you look at this one tree trunk, you can see we cut it back to nothing. I think it was maybe three weeks ago and that's how much has grown in that short amount of time. And then all these other malungai that you see here, this one we just cut back to nothing and, and within weeks it'll start growing again. And these other stumps, we cut them all back because they were huge. And uh, what happens is they want to have the young tender leaves rather than the uh, older leaves. Over there is uh, lemongrass and then the malungai you see way over there by the apartment is another one that we started from this tree. Then this is cassava here, these big green plants that you see over by the pool. Those are like a tuber, so you, when you dig them up, you eat the, actually the root that's in the ground. Then we have uh, more pineapple here. Eggplant, more eggplant, although these, I think the eggplants are starting to look a little, a little ragged. This is calamansi, which is a small citrus fruit that's like a lemon. And I don't know, that just looks like a palm tree to me there. I'm not sure what that is. And then we have more pineapple here. More eggplant. And it's got these little squash here. And what's interesting is they also eat the flowers of these. Some of these, uh, these are lettuce, I think. This is an avocado tree here. This is a pepper tree. Small uh, peppers they call sealy. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's one. There's one right there. There we go. And then, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what everything else is. Here's the more of the small banana variety here, and then these are the ones that are, have the best flavor. So we have now, we have about four different groves of these small bananas, and they're the, they're the most delicious bananas you ever ate in your entire life. So then, this is lemongrass here, which Alette also cooks. This is a mango tree here. All of these, you know, of course we've only been here a couple years, so we're just waiting for them to produce fruit. Now here's the one I'm most interested in. This is a mulberry bush, and it's got flowers on it. So what I'm waiting to see is if that little bush is going to... I think all those flowers are going to turn into fruit. I hope so. I'll be really excited. And I'm not sure what this one is. And I'm not sure what this one is. And I'm not sure what this one is. But we got lots of stuff going on here. So then she has lots of nice small flowers in the garden. And uh, tons and tons of orchids. These are just beautiful. Look at these flowering uh vines they're just absolutely gorgeous and then this is another calamansi it's the biggest one we have 
but right now it's not producing any fruit. Then she has the beautiful bromeliads and look at all these orchids. Some of them are blooming. These are all orchids here on the fence. And this corner of the garden is kind of her bromeliad uh, corner here. We have some small tiny roses here. And then this one up in the corner, that's actually an American rose. It had a big beautiful flower with a nice scent. But I think we haven't had enough sunlight lately for them to go get crazy again. This is an orange tree. We're expecting fruit maybe in two more years, I hope. It's a beautiful tree and I love it, but uh, so far no fruits. And then you see that let made these all these wall mounted pots she did and these shells she did all on her own and then these other the small pots these are all handmade pots up here then more orchids this is a that's an avocado tree there and then i do get hummingbirds coming to my feeder and what the hummingbirds really love is this bush here that has these little red blossoms and the hummingbirds just go crazy on this and I had the feeder right there but then I couldn't see it so I've moved it over here and the hummingbirds now they know so here are more orchids here I'm not sure what these are but they're just beautiful more orchids look these are blooming look at how many flowers just amazing it's, it's just you just cannot believe how things grow here it's it's absolutely incredible so and this is our kubo here this is where we do all our entertaining hardly anybody ever comes inside but we we just hang out here in the kubo and enjoy the garden and then here's a palm tree here and then this is the tree I'm really excited about. This is a pomelo tree. And hopefully, maybe next year, it'll start producing fruit. And then these are, I love the green color on these. I'm not sure what they are or if they have flowers, but they're just gorgeous. Some hanging plants, pots. These are grapes. You can see the vines are well established. But I think we have some kind of maybe infestation or something that's kind of stunting them. It's difficult here to find the right things to get rid of the pests and stuff. And then down at the end by the water tank there are a couple more citrus. One's calamansi and one is lemon. So that's the tour so much variety and uh, one thing I love about here is it's always green there's no winter at least I don't consider it winter they do the Filipinos call it winter but for me it's just the time of the year when I'm not sweating like a dog but uh, this is our little piece of paradise and uh, we really love it anyway Hope you enjoyed the tour. Bye-bye, everyone.